But we begin with Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper, who helped hire seven new armed guards for the county's public schools. Every public school in the state will have an armed guard after the legislature passed a law in response to the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High last February. Sheriff Leeper, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you. What were the qualifications that your applicants needed and how stringent were the requirements? Well, what we're doing here in Nassau County, uh, the, the school board is actually going to hire their own individuals to uh, cover the elementary schools until they get those trained. Uh, we're using uh, deputies uh, working overtime in the elementary schools. We still cover the high schools and the middle schools as well with our school resource officers, but we'll have a, a deputy in each elementary school throughout the county until the school board can actually get their personnel trained. They'll be, uh, uh, we'll be doing that here shortly. How long do you think it'll take for them to get their personnel trained? Well, it's going to take uh, about 160, 170 hours uh, of instruction, uh, a lot of uh, uh, weapons training, as you can imagine. But uh, it, it'll probably be a, a few weeks, uh, maybe a couple of months before we can get them trained up. But uh, we'll provide security, make sure uh, our students are safe, make sure our teachers uh, have a safe environment to, uh, to teach in. And I want our parents to know that their children will be safe in our schools. Now, you only have seven schools to worry about. In Duval County, they've got over 100 schools. And that's kind of how they're filling in the gaps. They're having Jacksonville Sheriff's officers fill in the gaps until they can get people trained and people hired. Is it a problem that there aren't enough security guards out there or uh, people who can fill those positions, appropriate people who can fill those positions? Or is it that there just wasn't enough time to get the proper training? Well, that was a concern uh, after the, the bill was passed with the legislature this past session. Uh, each county was trying to figure out uh, what they were going to do, uh, how much money they were going to receive to uh, actually, uh, if they could afford uh, the school resource officers or have to go the guardian route or the school safety officer route. Um, the, it appeared there was not enough money that was uh, allocated to each county, uh, particularly in Nassau County, to make sure we have a school resource officer in, in all the elementary schools. So uh, we're trying to do other alternatives. Uh, still trying to figure it out. Uh, each county is the same. Some counties have to hire over 100 uh, people to cover their schools, and uh, they just uh, sometimes just the people are not out there. You know, we have enough time trying trouble trying to uh, uh, fill in the gaps of people that that we need uh, anyway. But then when you have to add extra people. Uh, trying to find those uh, individuals is, is not that easy. Yeah, and that's been the, uh, the thing we've been hearing from school districts across the state. But obviously everybody wants to keep the children as safe as possible. Sheriff Bill Leeper, good to talk to you. Thanks so much. All right.